Hello friendos, welcome back. Today we're talking about Nexon and Iron Mace, Dark and Darker, Mr. Choi, all those good things. Things that I've not made a video about in quite a while and to be honest haven't really been following. But this is some good or bad news depending on who you are. Uh, I think if you're a fan of Dark and Darker the game, this is very bad news. Uh, I think overall people wanting to play the game this is probably gonna be pretty shattering police issue arrest warrant for iron mace officials over nexon project uh, leakage suspicion so this is coming from a fairly reliable source i think this is a massive website in korea um they're saying it's been cons confirmed that the police have applied for a arrest warrant for an official from iron mace a domestic game maker suspected of developing dark and darker by leaking Nexon's unreleased project, P3. According to the game industry on the 27th, the Security Investigation Division of the Southern Provincial Police Agency requested a prior arrest warrant for Iron Mace's Mr. Choi, uh, who is suspected of leaking the data of the unreleased game, which he was in charge of working on while at, ne uh, at Nexon, to the outside without permission. Nexon sued Mr. Choi to the police in August 2021, claiming that he made Dark and Darker based on this. Uh, if you don't know, this has been going on since then as a uh, criminal matter in Korea. And then obviously there is the ongoing civil matter in, in North America, which we'll get to in a minute. So basically Nexon brought this to the police. The police began their investigation uh, which resulted in a seizure, a search and seizure of the Iron Mace office, which was earlier in this year. And then based on the data obtained from that search and seizure, it has been investigated whether Troy used the leaked data and the prosecution has accepted the police's request and has requested an arrest warrant for Troy from the court, which essentially, um, obviously ignore the Google Translate here. What it means is Nexon brought it to the police. The police said, okay, we'll investigate. They investigated, which included the search and seizure, which obviously was taking files, computers, things like that from, from Iron Mace's office. And then based on what they found, based on the evidence that's been presented by Nexon, they've decided to pursue an arrest warrant. Now, does this mean he's 100% guilty and, and everything Nexon claimed is true? No. Does it lend credibility to what Nexon said? Yes, absolutely, especially when we look at prior cases uh, such as the NCSoft Blue Hole case where people went to prison for basically this exact same thing where a person working for a company left, was alleged to take trade secrets with him uh, and then made another game that was very similar. Th those people went to prison. So for, a, uh, for the police to investigate this, to have the facts of the matter more than you, more than me, more than anybody who's making videos about this or, or speculating or playing the game or just being fans or whatever, for them to come to this conclusion to the point where they have pushed uh, for the judge to sign an arrest warrant, that's pretty, um, pretty big, right? Because they're not gonna do that unless they have sufficient enough evidence. Again, doesn't mean 100% this guy's going to prison, just means that, you know, it's not looking good, especially considering, at least from my angle of what I've seen, uh, Nexon's been the been the ones to put forward uh, the majority of the compelling evidence as to why, you know, this has happened. But again, we're still going through the, the civil matter in the US courts to see whether or not that's a point. Um, what happens in the civil matter is going to impact the game more so than what happens in the criminal matter in Korea because obviously the game's launching predominantly in the West, and also this is against Choi as opposed to against Iron Mace. There's a lot of factors here, so you will be forgiven if you've forgotten or whether you're just not super clear. Basically, it's Nexon versus Choi criminally, uh, and then in the West, it's Nexon versus Iron Mace, the actual company, based on trying to get the game uh, to not release because of financial damages and things like that. It's entirely possible that the outcome of this is going to be Choi goes to prison in Korea, but the case in the West doesn't amount to anything and the game still comes out. Um, but basically from what I'm seeing, there's a higher than, you know, 50% probability that Choi does go to prison based on this. 
but of course not a guarantee. So the prosecution has accepted the police's request and has requested an arrest warrant for Choi from the court. The schedule for interrogation of the suspect before arrest, uh, the examination of warrant validity has not yet been set. And a police official said, quote, it is true that we have applied for an arrest warrant for the suspect, but we cannot provide details as it is an ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, Iron Mace has denied the theft several times, saying it did not use the assets, aka the data, used for the game production, known to have been leaked by Mr. Choi in relation to the suspicion. Now, some people have been getting hung up on this idea of, you know, known to have been leaked, but he did kind of admit to it. He he literally said in his own, you know, public defense of posting about what happened at his time on uh, Nexon and things like that, that essentially he spun up a home server, had the files on it, um, and then they told him to stop and then he didn't, and then he spun it up again without their permission. He's admitted to doing this. It's just a question of how much or if they used it. And obviously, Nexon also has communication, at least according to them, and they've submitted this to a court, so it'd be kind of silly to lie about, um, that they requested he turn over his home network, and he said he was going to, and then he instead he got his friend to log in and delete it all, which obviously one of the reasons to arrest somebody during a pivotal you know portion of the the investigation is because you're either worried about them destroying evidence which he's been alleged to have already done uh, and also in case the, there's a good chance that they flee which obviously if he's operating a business that is predominantly marketing in the west uh, they're worried that he's you know he's going to leave korea and go to the west or whatever um, but whether or not this gets signed a judge could see this and be like you know there's there's not enough do they use probable cause as a term in Korea? Who knows? But a judge could see this and just say, no, I'm not going to sign that. And then obviously it would be up to the prosecution and the police who were investigating to come up with more evidence in in order to get a judge to sign or to just drop it completely. Uh, again, my opinion, what's going to happen here, probably uh, based on what Nexon said, based on the police applying for this in the first place, probably going to get arrested so he's going to spend some time in jail regardless uh whether or not this goes through and it goes to a trial and he goes to to prison long term who knows um but basically what's going on with the civil case as well which is relevant is they've been arguing back and forth for a while now about getting the the case dismissed uh in the civil court and why are they doing that well it's based on uh grounds of forum non-convenience which is essentially saying uh, why are we arguing in this court about this matter when it could be argued somewhere else? Like it, it's supposed to be argued somewhere else uh, because it's not relevant to this jurisdiction. Uh, what are the points that they're arguing? Well, Nexon are obviously of the opinion that it should be it should be uh, in Washington because that's where Steam is. Which, when you're posting a game on Steam, you do agree that if there's any legal matter to be resolved, it should be in Washington. So they're going on that grounds. And on Iron Mace's side, they're basically saying, you know, why are we doing this here? What do Washington? What does Washington and people in Washington care? about an argument between two Korean companies, especially when uh, during discovery, which is obviously when they're trading back and forth information that they're gonna be using in trial and things like that, and uh, during de depositions and things like that, all evidence, all testimony, all employees, it will all be in Korean. So it's weird that all of that is gonna be in a court in America. Uh, because obviously it's two Korean people, uh, two Korean companies arguing about something that happened in Korea with all Korean employees. So obviously both companies have a point, um, and that's what they're going back and forth on to decide now, which uh, basically the recent uh, response, the recent motion, has been to delay disclosure until they figure out whether or not they're going to dismiss on, on grounds of uh, from non-convenience. Is this likely? I don't know. I, I've not spoke to any legal experts. It would require me to go through all of this, have a legal expert go through it, and it's just not something I'm going to pursue. Uh, we will find out fairly soon on whether or not this is going to be uh, actually uh, pushed through or whether they're going to continue. Uh, if it gets dismissed, obviously, it doesn't necessarily mean that Iron Mace is in the clear and we don't really know what's going to happen beyond that. But obviously, this is this would be a massive win for Iron Mace if if this did get um, dismissed on these grounds.
obviously with anything that's going on in a court what you actually get in terms of being able to look through like pacer and, and look through the docket and things like that is always going to be behind what happens in the court and always a fraction of the information so what we're actually seeing is is literally just a actual documents and not what's being said between people so it seems like Nexon and Iron Mace are obviously in a battle here on two different fronts. I guess on three, if you count civil, criminal, and civil against company, as well as civil versus personal. But yeah, that's the update on um, on Dark and Darker. It seems that the the guy, Mr. Troy, has not been arrested as of today, as of a couple hours ago. Um, he was posting saying, you know, he can't go, uh, he can't go into details. But it's not good for false rumors to spawn. Do not worry. I'm back to focusing on development, um, which obviously uh, anyone's going to say, right, you want to keep morale high. You don't want to come out and be like, yeah, we're fucked, guys. <laughs> we're really fucked. So nothing really to read into in the response. You can't really be. It, it's even common sense just, you know, trying to placate people because you can't really be focused on development when you're in a massive, massive fucking lawsuit and also being criminally investigated in your home country. Realistically, there's no way to get any answers on any of this other than just waiting. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. And whenever we know if the arrest warrant gets issued, if he gets arrested, if we find out you know, what the judge has said and if this is being dismissed with their proceeding to disclosure, um, then yeah, I'll make another video and let you know. Uh, Twitch link in video description, playing some BDO, uh, Patreon if you want to support me with a few dollars each month, Twitter, I guess X now that we have to call it, because fuck Elon Musk, and of course Discord if you want to suggest content or anything like that, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.